Maybe I should have a look around the lighthouse before I go find out who's inside. Try to remember, James. I... I heard it so many times. When I was a little boy. Trust me, I'm telling you the truth. I am Samuel. William was my friend, just as he was yours. Samuel? I don't remember the name. It's all so distant now. William raised you as a son. I just wanted to go back home. I... I sent a letter to William, but he neither replied nor came to see me. He could not come, James. It was I who found your note, and that is why I've come. Why couldn't he come? Is he ill? He... William is dead. No, I don't believe you. You're lying. He will come for me and take me home. You have to trust me, James. William died a few days ago. They found his body under the old tower. Everyone believes it was an accident, but I don't believe it. I've come to you because you can help me find the truth. Me? There's no way I could be of help. I don't believe in truth anymore. But you know something that can help me find it. You must help me. I don't even know who you are. What if you're lying to me? What if you have come to take me back? I'm your only friend now, James. If you tell me what you know, I will help you return home. Why should I trust you? Well, you don't have much of a choice. Maybe you really are my only friend. And if you're lying, it doesn't really matter anyway. I will never return there. I'd sooner kill myself than be with those people again. You won't have to if you help me. All right. I'll tell you everything you want. James, I know you used to live at the castle. Why did William leave you in Ashbury? It wasn't William. It was Robert who let me grow old in that horrible place. He put me there against William's will. He told him that I'd be better off, that I'd only stay there for a few weeks, that it would help me. But you never returned. He convinced William that I was getting worse and that he had to treat me for another month or two. William believed the lies and put me in Robert's care. I still have no idea why he did that to me. How could he possibly allow such a thing? So, Robert was looking to him all that time. If it hadn't been for him, I could have returned any time. Now, Everything's changed. I am here, and nobody, not even Robert, is going to get me back. I hate that bastard. Robert left for Ashbury two days ago. He said he had to leave because of something serious. No one has seen him since then, neither at the castle nor at the sanatorium. Good. Finally got what he deserved. 
Maybe somebody finally killed him for all his atrocities. I certainly won't miss him. Atrocities? All those secret experiments of his on the patients. He's obsessed with the idea that he's going to make a huge discovery and won't stop no matter what happens. Him who's mad. What exactly did he do? He injected all kinds of stuff into us. Some of us died. Everyone in those cells is a guinea pig to him. Why has no one ever found out? He gets away with whatever he wants. No one has ever found out. When I told him I wanted to return, he gave me a shock. After that, I didn't have a clue what was happening for two whole days. He knows very well that I could tell and ruin everything. I didn't want another dose of that stuff, so I ran away. I want you to take a look at this. I know William left a similar object in your care a long time ago. I would like to get it back. He gave it to me as a present when I was a little boy. I had long forgotten about it. William said I must take special care of it and not tell anyone. And he was very serious about it. So where is it now? Have you got it with you? No. They would have found it and taken it from me. I hid it in a safe place, right in front of everybody's noses. It wouldn't occur to anyone to even start looking there. Where? Where did you hide it? I don't know if I should tell you. William... William is dead. I must find that thing. You can't possibly imagine what I had to go through to get a hold of the other ones. All right. I will tell you. It's in the old sewers, deep under the castle. But there are no sewers there. Do you mean the cellar? There is such a place, right under the cellar. You can get there with one of the trains. Is that where I will find it? Yes. I have to leave now, James. Okay. I'll hide again. Doesn't smell is coming out of it. It might come in handy. Pleasant smell is coming out of it. It still seems to work just fine.
I'll tie the hook to the rope. Nothing. No water. James did not lie. The secret underground exits. The air is barely breathable. This mechanism probably controls the pumps in the cellar. Surely it hasn't been here since the old days. It appears to be stuck. The air smells awful like a swamp. Fresh air hasn't made it down here in centuries. It's rusty from the dampness. One of the rods is loose. I'll try to stick the rod in there. I can't do it. The rod is too thick. I can't move it at all. The bars are chained and padlocked. Richard's acid has dissolved the padlock as if it were made of paper. The water must have been standing here like this for years. It's full of floating algae and dirt. The wheel is locked. This won't do. The rope is bending too much. My ancestors built this sophisticated system of sewers. I'll try to sharpen the rod a bit. That should be enough. This should do better. Okay, I put the rod in the opening. I'll use the rod as a lever. Hmm, the hatch has opened, but no water is running.
the water has risen to the brim of the drain channel. An old rod. It will have to do. Works. The mechanism is running. The water has drained into the underground system of channels. The way is free. Water is gone, but its stink has remained. No one has set foot down here in ages. This place is so cold, and the silence is eerie. My every step echoes all around. It's completely dark there. This must be James's chest. I have found it at last. He had probably hidden it somewhere before the room was filled with water. Some strange symbols in a circle. Hmm. The underground certainly had a different purpose in the past than just to keep the water away. Another key. James didn't lie. Ah! My head. I'd better take my medication. I'm sick from this bad air. I'll rest a couple of hours and return later. These horrid dreams feel like deja vu. Why am I dreaming such awful things? Just two days ago, my gloomy morning thoughts were interrupted by Bates' knock at the door. Sir! Sir, open up! I must speak to you! Hold on, Bates. I'm there in a moment. What is it, Bates? They just called from Ashbury regarding a very serious matter. I think it is necessary that you go there as soon as possible, sir. Why? What exactly did they say? I spoke with the head nurse. She did not want to tell me what has happened. I am very concerned. Maybe some news of Sir Robert. Did she tell you anything more? She did not want to tell me anything specific, sir. Did you speak with Victoria about it? No, sir. I didn't want to disturb her. Hopefully nothing much has happened, but it would be good to know for sure. All right. 
I'll pay them a visit. In the meantime, keep this whole thing to yourself. Of course. And, sir, the weather is truly terrible. A vigorous storm is approaching. The sky is entirely overcast as though it were night. I have no previous recollection of such horrid weather. It is very strange indeed. Going to be a strong thunderstorm, that's all. But thank you for the warning. On the way to Ashbury, Bates's words resonated in my mind. Only the dark silhouette of the Ashbury Sanatorium quieted them. I wonder what news of Robert I will learn.